YouTube, this is I Want That Hair. Um, I'm coming to you today because I wanted to show you all a few products that I got from my local beauty supply store and also let you know, guys know that I washed my Chanel wig because I know she was looking a little shabby and basically I'm going to curl her because I got a great tip from Muffins is my lover um, and she said how you can take your synthetic wigs and curl them while they're wet. So I tried it out on my snail wig just to kind of bring back some curl to it or maybe probably going to change it up a little bit to kind of keep it because I went to my local disability supply store to buy another one and she ended up moving to another location which is better for her. Maybe her rent, rent went up but she wanted to charge me $39.99 for another snail wig. I'm like oh no that's too much. So of course I said well okay well I'll be back another time. You know to get something else so I knew $39.99 plus tax is probably about $42 or so so I didn't want to pay that so I'm probably we're going to go online and uh, purchase me another one so until then till then I'm just going to go ahead and just sit I'll just play around with this one a little bit and as well um, you know I used to I wanted to buy me some more natty spray as you see I only got that much left and I bought this one for only $2.99 and she told me they do not no longer make this spray anymore. I was like, man, right when you find something, you know, they don't make it anymore. So instead, you know, I'm going to another beauty supply uh, store. And I said, okay, well, I'll try this one out. Crystal Clear Wig Lusterizer and Conditioner for Wigs, Falls, and Hair Pieces for Human and Synthetic uh, Professional Formula. And I got this one for, um, you see that, for this. $4.99. I know you can't see that. But it's $4.99. So I'm, I gave it a shot. And it, it actually, I like how it works. The only thing I don't like, I don't like how it smells. Um, it smells like a coconut mixed with um, some something else. But I really didn't like how it smells. But I guess after a while it will wear off. But as far as what I need to do, it, it does what it needs to do. And as well, I wash my snail wig with this here shampoo right here. Wig shampoo. I think that's La Charm, yeah, wig and shampoo condition for synthetic and human hair, cleans, deodorizes, and conditions, kill germs, and lusterizes. So, um, it does what it does. All I do is fill up the basin, um, I sink with water, cold water, then put this in the uh, little bit, couple of drops in there, swish it around, and I put, you know, the wig in there and just swish it around. And then um, do that maybe like three times until the water comes clear. And then I may put some little conditioner in there as well in the water. Swish it around. Then uh, let that water out. And then after that, swish it around until the water is clear. And then I'll hang it up. Normally, I'll just hang it up in my shower and just let it drip dry. So this time I said, okay, well, let me try and maybe add a few curls. But this is like the second time I washed this wig. And um, so I said, let me just add a few curls to it and as well. I wanted to start making, try to make my own wig, right? Got inspired from some other ladies here on YouTube. Little Shonda, Little Shonda. I be messing up people's YouTube names. But anyway, there's another lady on here who used a glue gun when she made her quick weave. So I was able to, I said, okay, I'm going to pick me up. At my local beauty supply store, she had a glue gun there, but it was like $23, you know, plus tax. So I went to the store that was next door, which is for um, Habitat for Humanity that kind of helps people build houses and whatnot. So I just happened to just go in there just to look. And they have this in there for, get look, $2.99. So I don't know if it's going to work or what, but I do have regular hair glue as well. But pretty much, you know, it has like three, came with three glues. And as you see, it can plug it in. And so I said, well, I'm going to, you know, start doing me some experimenting, you know, just to see. Because back in the day, man, my friends used to call me to do their hair, do their perm. Used to come on my house, and I used to hook them up with some cute little hairdo. So I probably should have went to hair school. But So I said, well, I'm going to wake back up that gift and, um, and see what I can do, you know. So anyway, let's get started. Um, I couldn't find my small barrel seven iron, so I had so for now I'm just using my big one. So this is just an example. If you haven't seen Muffins My Lover video, check it out. I probably put a link in the in the sidebar so you can check it out that you can curl synthetic hair. So I put some water in this little spray right here because it kinda um I dry a little bit. 
you know so so I'm doing just gonna spray that and uh, just show you all a few so I won't have to edit this video combing it out a little bit and I have my this little Revlon big barrel I wish I had my small barrel and I had it set in between 25 and 20 and you're gonna hear some sizzle it's gonna sizzle but I ain't know you know I ain't been on a busy school so if I ain't curling it white like I should be you know, beauty school experts beauticians brother then I'm sorry but as you see look at that it curled so let me do another one I don't want I really don't want to comb it too too much Permanent with a little frizzy right there. Probably need a little cut. All right, go a little bit on the knee, a little bit of spray. Hope you all can see this. Yeah, it's look a little. All right, here we go. Oh, as well, I wanted to show y'all what I'm using. This is, I'm just, I pretty much just have my wig. It's about to fall off. It's on a, on a, um, it's a mannequin I bought from, um, Sally's. And I believe it was only like, just under $3. And then I got this, um, let me see if y'all can see that. Stand I'm using. This is this right here. I got Salon Care. I got this from Sally's right here, as well for only like just under seven dollars. And it pretty much I just have it on this little regular old tray that you eat off. But of. we kind of use this thing for almost anything that you can kind of eat off of or whatever. <laughs> you know, we do homework and all kind of stuff, my kids. So I said, well, I'm gonna use it to do hair too now. So. Because that was a good place to kind of hook that on there. And um, had the mannequin on top. And um, it's pretty staying pretty sturdy. So got that from Sally Beauty Supply. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So let me do a, do a few more curls. I don't know if I did that. I can't remember. So, you know, hey, maybe if you got a straight wig, you know, synthetic. You maybe you want to add a few curls to it, you know. This will be a good way to do that. And I'm going to, while I'm at it, I want to thank all my subscribers. I'm at just over 200, and I really appreciate every single one of you subscribing to my channel. And uh, as you know, I'm having a contest where I'm giving away two pairs of feather earrings. And you can enter as many times as you would like. So it will be two separate winners, you know. So even if I pull somebody's number twice, um, I'm still going to have, I, I want to be fair, so I'm going to have two separate people. All right, like I was saying about the contest, enter as many times as you would like. So basically, I'm just showing you right here how you can curl a synthetic wig. Um, just make sure that it's wet and just go ahead and give it a shot and curl it. So at the end, I'm going to include some pictures. Um, first picture is the front. It's not going to be that, that clear. Um, the back. Um, which I curl. I didn't curl the whole wig, but just some spots where I thought maybe a little, little, little need a little more lift, and then a side view as well. Um, it's look a little frizzy because it's the wig is actually still wet. The cap is still wet, so I'm gonna, I'm um, gonna to once I'm, the end result, I'm gonna hang it right back in my shower to kind of so we can finish air drying, 
and um, then after that I'm going to spray it with the wig spray to kind of get the frizz out and uh, clipped a little bit of the ends a little bit just to kind of get the frizz out then I'm going to try it on a little later so check it out hope you enjoyed if you want to see more videos like these be sure to rate subscribe and comment thank you once again bye bye